Are you guys tired of book reviews yet? I hope not, because I'm going to be doing more of them because I read a lot of books. Uh, today, and in this video, oh, by the way, I am Erin, and I would like to welcome you, or welcome you back, to Waiting Moose, where I talk about books. Um, and today I'm going to be doing another book review. This one is The Call of the Wild by Jack London. I le recently listened to this book and I had never read it or listened to it before. So it was a new experience for me. I was kind of surprised actually by the book. It was written in the early 1900s. I want to say 1903, but I, I'm not completely sure if that was when it was written. So it is a classic. Uh, most people read this as a child. I did not. I'm really glad I didn't because I'm that big, soft, mushy, I love animals person, and I don't think that uh, I would have gotten the big, soft, mushy feelings out of this. It's, it's, yeah, it's not a good book. The book tells the story of Buck. He is a German Shepherd cross. I believe he's German Shepherd crossed with St. Bernard, who is stolen from his owner and taken up to Alaska, where he becomes a sled dog. And it, it, chronicles his life as he is moved from owner to owner and as he... You've read the book, right? Can I give spoilers? No, I better not give spoilers. The book is titled The Call of the Wild. So he goes up to Alaska and he is a sled dog. He's an awesome sled dog. He goes from owner to owner to owner and he's got a really rough life. As you can imagine, life as a sled dog in Alaska in the late 1800s would be or early 1900s. I mean, it's not an easy life. It's it's not. It wasn't an easy life for the people. And back then, people had a lot less respect and care for animals. I think we have progressed a lot in the way we treat animals, not at all in the way we treat other human beings, which is really sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the soapbox I want to get onto right now. I do, this is going to be a short review. It's a short book. It was 172 pages. Uh, the audiobook I listened to was about five hours. And Buck is lovable. I loved Buck. I thought he was an excellent character. I loved his strength. I loved how he adapted to each situation as he was put into it. And I think there's a lot we can learn from that. But the book is extremely brutal. It is not shy. It's it's a children's book. It's a, it's a, it was published by the one I listened to was actually published by Scholastic or no. Anyway, it's been published by Scholastic, right? It's not a kid's book. I don't want, I, I'm just like I read this in horror thinking, "Oh, my nephew would be like scarred by this." But kids today obviously are much different than kids in the early 1900s. <laughs> in the early 1900s they didn't finish school, but anyway, that's not the point of this review. I thought it was a great book though. So if you're looking at classics and you don't even if you are a big softie like me, this book I thought was really great. But it's also very brutal and horrific and a good story like it tells you a lot actually without talking about people about what it was like living in Alaska and doing like just what that was it was brutal it was brutal for everyone so that's my review of Jack London's Call of the Wild I think I gave it four stars I want to say I gave it four stars I'm not sure I'll check and I'll correct that if I had it wrong. So that is, that is it for this video. Woohoo! A short one. Have a great night or day or whatever it is, wherever you are. I am Erin and I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you come back and watch some more. Bye!